So I'm going to show you the way how you can upload the midterm marks to be shared to students and also upload the final mark just for you to manage the assessment. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is go to the grades. Okay, remember in the previous step you already set up our grade book. Okay. Just to double check, go to the symbol preview, symbol view. Okay, just check. Okay, so we have the midterm ready. Okay, this is a carry mark. It's correct. Okay, so after you make sure this is correct, you can go to export, export spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet. Just select the things that you want to be included. For example, questions of the midterm. Then click submit. So I only want to export a form with four questions for me to fill in the mark. Okay, so this is a preview. After that, I just click download. Okay, and then save it. After that, open the Excel file. Just open in Excel this far. So now you have opened this one. So you can remove the empty column, just remove it, you don't need this one. Okay, and then save. And we I'd like to add another column, let's say total. So I will use the same spreadsheet to manage my midterm, the midterm marks or final marks of the course. Then after that, I will save it in a file which can be imported to the Smart UMS. So I can remove all this dash. I can make a formula. Let's say this is the sum of all the questions. Then just drag it, okay, and then click save again. So now I have an Excel sheet which allow me to key in the marks of the midterm. So basically, until this step, uh, the next step is to mark the questions, the the marks the question paper and the answer of the student, and then give the mark on each of the questions, okay. And when you mark the questions, which we will show in the uh, video later, you don't have to sum up the marks. Okay, so you just need to write the marks of each question in front of the question paper. Okay, and then after you have finished all the marking, then you can use this form and then start to key in the mark. Okay, according to the mark that is given in the paper. Exam paper. Okay, example. Okay. And remember to set this as number. Okay, then you have all the mark. So keep doing this. So after you have the total, then you can write the total on the paper itself. Okay. So basically they don't have this is not a redundant work as you don't use the calculator to sum up the mark. You just use the Excel sheet.
So after you have completed this, remember to save it. Okay. Then after that, we just right click on the Excel sheet, create a new copy to new book. Okay, just create a copy. Okay, so this is a copy of book one. So the next thing you have to do is just remove the doctor. Okay, and then click save. Save as just save anywhere that you want. Okay, so save as CSV. Okay, then click save. Okay, so now you have saved your CSV file. So next thing you can do is to import it into the Smart UMS. So similarly, just go to the page just now, okay, the grade report. Okay. You have the import, just click import CSV file. Just select the file where you just have it. this one one so just drag and drop so the separator is comma correct and then click upload okay so you can have a preview and then the next thing you have to do you have to map okay okay so I will map the call this mark According to the email address, just map from email address to email address in the Smart UMS. Okay. For the three column, I will just leave it. For question one, I will map to the question one. So this is from the CSV file, and this is from in the Smart UMS. Okay. So this is question one. This one is mapped to question two. This one is map to question three. This one is map to question four. Okay, and then I can just click upload. And then click continue. Okay, so now you can see the mark has been uploaded to the Smart UMS. We don't need to include the total because the system will calculate the total automatically. Okay. At the same time, they give you the overall overall average. Okay. Okay. So that's all. How you can manage the midterm and the final marks in Smart UMS. So remember, for the midterm mark, you want to make it visible for students, but for the final mark, you have to hide it.